not Firefly Season 2. But I guess it'll have to do. When Serenity begins, we are once again introduced to Malcolm Reynolds and his crew of heartfelt misfits, Sailing the Black Abyss. However, this time, it seems the crew has bitten off just a little more than they can chew when River starts to act strange. Well, stranger than normal. Anyway, they are forced into a crazy adventure that finally answers some questions that have haunted the ship. The story for Serenity is great. However, it just doesn't seem to have the same charm that Firefly did. One major problem this movie faced going in is that it needed to answer a lot of questions from the show to please the die-hard fans, like myself, while appealing to a new audience. Serenity pushes the less important questions out of the way, focusing on the key ones, and concentrating on Mal's story. This route was probably the best option they could have taken because of the fact that a movie doesn't get the same amount of time as a television series does, and this is noticeable when watching the movie. And yet, Serenity is intriguing, funny, and action-packed, just like the show that it follows. And yes, it doesn't reach the same level as Firefly, but it's still great. There's one thing I'd like to add, though. There's a character in this movie that dies. They didn't need to die, there was a complete disregard for their character. The cast between Firefly and Serenity is pretty much identical, with the inclusion of one major character. But first, let's start with Malcolm Reynolds. Once again, Nathan Fillion returns. Need I say more? If you watched my previous review for Firefly, you know how I feel about Nathan Fillion. Nothing really changes with Mal's character between Firefly and Serenity, which is great, because if it ain't broke, don't go fixing it. However, he does have an arc at the end of the film. It was cool, but it was one I was hoping for in the show, and I would have liked more time to develop his character to that defining moment. River is the only other important protagonist, due to the fact that she melds the story together. I always liked River and Firefly. My god, is she good in Serenity. She is fucking badass. Can you imagine having her as a crazy ex? Hey baby, how you doing? Hey, what, what what's that for? Is this about that text? She's just a friend! Ah! Actually, never mind. All jokes aside, she was awesome and I loved her. She was probably my favorite thing about the movie. Now to that new character. Well, newish. The actor played by Ch I'm not even gonna try. He was cold and calculated with a sense of honor reminiscent of Asian culture, which really fit the tone of the movie. Personally, I would have loved to have seen more. However, him and a lot of the crew didn't get much screen time due to the limitations of a movie. Once again, the presentation for Serenity was handled quite well. The Blu-ray quality was awesome with both visuals and audio. However, there is much heavier use of CGI in this movie, and it is noticeable but not so much that it felt like a cartoon. Just like the show though, the sets of the music were superb and at times made me feel like I found the long lost episode of Firefly. Also, I feel bad if I didn't include how the ending space battle was presented. The operative is all like, look at him, he's not even changing course. And then Mal's all like, oh, what's up operative? Reavers, bitch. It's been a great journey. But unfortunately, like all things good, it must come to an end. I didn't want Serenity. I wanted Firefly Season 2. I wanted more adventures, more laughs, more times with the crew. And although Serenity can never give us that, it is great in its own right. I most definitely advise that after you finish Firefly, you go and buy Serenity. It is worth your dollar. Because Serenity gets 8 out of 10. So thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to share it on Facebook, Twitter, and Google. And if you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Zach from Battlefront Productions. Until next time.